Welcome back. It is Thursday, which means a new episode of Influencers here. And Yahoo Finance's editor-in-chief, Andy Serwer, sat down with billionaire, uh, media mogul, and mega donor and Saban Capital uh, Group CEO, Haim Saban, to get his take on what lies ahead for President-elect Joe Biden once he takes office. Take a listen. He is the one who has been fermented this hate Uh, and division in the American people for four years. And uh, it culminated in him calling on them to go to the Capitol. Uh, I'm no lawyer, but it sounds to me like incitement uh, to commit, uh, you know, a a crime. And uh, he should be held accountable for inciting to commit a crime, Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that no one is above the law in America, and I think it's a fair assumption. Do you agree that he should leave office before January 20th, impeached by uh, Congress, or resign, perhaps? What I really believe is that after what uh, he did, and after the way he treated a very royal, uh, loyal Um, uh, Lieutenant, I I really think that Pence should uh, call for the uh, 25th Amendment. Uh, That's what I believe. It would make sense uh, for him to go play golf in Florida and leave us alone. (laughs) That's what I believe. But apparently Pence is not ready to do that. So there is no reason no rhyme or reason to have somebody who committed a crime to let that person off the hook. I I don't see the reason. Do you think that Donald Trump is going to continue to play a dominant role in the Republican Party after this time? It depends on the media. If the media gives him the platform they gave him before the elections worth billions of dollars of exposure, And if they cut him off, uh, like uh, all the online entities cut him off, Facebook and Twitter, if outside of Fox News, Fox News is a special animal within itself. But if all the other media, television media, uh, simply don't give him a platform, you give him a platform, he's going to continue with his shenanigans from Berther all the way to inciting this uh, group of Michiganers to go up on the hill, you know, so he's going to continue. And if he's cut off from the media, um, you know, he won't be able to have the same impact. Michiganers is Yiddish for crazy people? (laughs) That's, I thought that everybody knows what Michiganer is, including in Georgia and Mississippi. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. (laughs) Probably the case. Let me ask you about President-elect Biden, because I know you've been a supporter of his, Haim, and he's talking about unifying the country. Um, Is is that still possible when a significant portion of the opposition party questions the legitimacy of the democratic system? Well, it questions the legitimacy because they believe Trump. If Trump stood up and said, okay, we had a fair election, it is a legitimate election, he is the next president, we wouldn't see any of that. They are just following Trump. Yes, the 74 million people who voted for him. Yes, 70% of those 74 million people believe the election was stolen because he says so. Because he says so. So if he has no platform, to continue spewing all these lies, uh, then, you know, we're not going to have this kind of, uh, there will always be division. There's always, always have been divisions, but not at that level. And not divisions that manifest itself, a division that manifests itself with violence the way we saw last Wednesday. So if Trump is cut off from the media, we're going to see that division you know, really calm down and there will be no one to fan those flames. There's a lot of talk now, Haim, about 
how companies are complicit, how the private sector is complicit. First of all, we talked about Facebook and Twitter and about they've banned him now, right? So that's number one. But then there's also the cable companies that run Newsmax and OAN and the telcos as well. Then there are companies that contribute to candidates, or I should say Congress people who supported blocking the certification. You've seen some companies now uh, say they're not going to support them anymore. Uh, and then there's companies say using uh, Trump uh, hotels and golf courses and saying they're not going to do that anymore. How far should this go, um, in your opinion? You're asking my opinion. My opinion, you should go all the way. But my opinion is secondary. I go back to the point of Trump being given a platform and his followers following what he says. No platform, you know, we're going to see a huge difference. So I hope very much that outside of the, as I call them, the Michiganers, meaning the crazy people on the extreme right, you know, outside of them, and there may be a website here and a website there, you cannot block everything on the internet, but the main media should stop giving Trump a platform because that will make Biden's job of uniting the country very difficult possible, very difficult. 